Does everything seem plain and boring to you? We know a few easy ways of how to change it. Are you bored as if there's nothing to do? Let's make a confetti explosion. Cut out the neck of a plastic bottle. Cut out the wide part of the balloon. Snip off the excess. Put it on the bottleneck. Make the confetti. Cut out color paper strips. Cut them athwart to get tiny squares. Prepare the confetti of different colors. Put them in the balloon. And now, the most interesting thing. Stretch the latex. Boom! Cool! It's a perfect way to have fun with your friends. Have some fun! Make the balloon move. Cut out a bottleneck. Trim with scissors. Heat the craft knife over the flame. Make a hole in the top. Hot glue the detail to the used CD. Put the inflated balloon on the top. The air from the balloon passes through the hole in the top, raising the disc over the table. It makes the disc slip over the surface, moving the whole construction around. We've shown how to make a cute stress reliever from the slime and balloon in our previous video. Let's try another version that is much easier to make. Let some air out. Tie the balloon to keep in the air left inside. Now you can squeeze and stretch it however you like. It won't pop, but it will relieve your stress. My friend leaves her banana unattended. It's her mistake, cause she will never see it again. I finish the banana in a moment. My blue-eyed friend comes back with a knife. She is about to chop the fruit into her oatmeal. But there's only the peel left. I offer her my cucumber to cheer her up. Pair the banana stalk to make it look like the cucumber one. Add a little water to gelatin. Heat it up in a microwave. Put in green food coloring. Drop the jelly over the banana peel. Let it cool. Mix a few food colorings in a palette. We will need black, dark green, and light green shades. Add a bit of white. Paint the banana. Start with the lightest shade. The closer to the end, the darker the color gets. Define the pimples with the darkest color. Let the cucumber dry. The blue-eyed girl can't figure out why she could need a cucumber. But when I start to peel it, she can see a transformation of the cucumber into a banana. My friend quickly breaks off a piece for herself. And a red tomato is everything that's left for me. The friends are excited, but what are they doing? One is drawing with colored crayons, and the other is trying to make a bow for a present. Seized by creativity, the blue-eyed girl accidentally mixes up her friend's crayons with a glue stick. She puts the wax stick into a hot glue gun and wonders why the glue has turned purple. Belle's picture has gone wrong too, so the girls decide to combine their efforts. We will need a canvas, a hot glue gun, and colored crayons. Take the wrapper off of a crayon. Pair it so that it fits in the glue gun. Heat up the gun and squeeze out colorful drops of hot wax onto the canvas. Add more colors. The canvas is turning into an awesome wax picture. You can create a true masterpiece using a hot glue gun and wax crayons. Well girls, it's high time to get ready for fame and success on the next exhibition of abstract art. The blue-eyed girl has no appetite. Maybe because she's fallen in love. Or maybe she doesn't like the look of her boring meal on the plate. But Belle knows how to help her friend. The meal should not only be nourishing, but attractive. This is why she's made a sausage bear for her friend. Spread out mashed potatoes to cover half of the plate. It's a lawn. 
Take two pieces of bologna and cut smaller circles out of them using a cup. Arrange bigger circles as a body and a head, and the smaller ones as ears. It's a bear! Cut the remaining sausage rings into four pieces and shape them like the bear's legs with claws. Attach the legs to the bear's body. Cut a circle out of cheese and make a muzzle. Put half of a yolk to make a nose. And finish the ears with cheese. Draw eyes with black food coloring. Add muzzle details and claws. Decorate the plate with hearts cut out of cheese. Make green grass out of dill springs and plant bologna flowers. The blue-eyed girl enjoys her meal now. With an unusual serving like this, your lunch will be funny and attractive. My friend has a funny notebook cover. There's a whole tic-tac-toe playing field on it. Wrap a notebook into a piece of felt. Hot glue the edges. Trace a big heart on pink felt. Use a marker to draw a grid for playing tic-tac-toe. Cut out the heart and hot glue it to the cover. Cut out little Velcro hearts of two different colors to make counters. Attach them to the felt. The game set's ready! Draw X's and O's on the hearts. Remove all the counters from the field and start playing. Take turns to go with X's and O's. The first round ends in a tie, and the player who's the first to attach the counter wins the second round. Our teacher appears to be a tic-tac-toe fan as well. A blackboard is her partner. It's strange that Miss Smith always manages to win. She's the tic-tac-toe queen. I've gotten bored sitting alone at the desk. Where's my funny friend? Oh, there's a strange girl that comes up to sit next to me. She's brought bookmarks. Oh, they are no bookmarks, but paper racers. Fold up one-third of color paper. Cut off the strip. Fold it in half lengthwise and crosswise. Bend it at a right angle in the middle again. You've got a triangle. Unfold the paper and fold it again across the creases, turning the two opposite pleats towards the middle. Snip off the top of the triangle. Draw a smiling face on it. And put it in the middle between the pleats. Move the paper to make the smiley shift up. Well, forget chemical formulas. Let's start Formula One racing. There are two racers on the math to Monaco track. My smiley is leading the race, but the rival keeps up. Phew! And the principal thing is that everyone who wants to compete can take part in the event. You don't have to buy a car or get a driver's license. It's the finish, and I won! Are you crazy about blowing lots of tiny bubbles at the same time? It's easy! You don't need to buy any special device. Use the stuff you can find in your kitchen. Take drinking straws. They can be of different size. If they are bendy, cut off the flexible part. Gather a few straws and fasten them with a rubber band. Secure on both sides. The smaller size, the greater the number. Fasten the straws in the same style. Take more straws. Choose any stuff. Dip one end in the soap solution and blow up. A ton of iridescent bubbles will swirl merrily around you. Now let's make giant bubble solution. Your measuring cup won't be enough. Take seven ounces of dish soap. Pour in 17 ounces of water. If your cup is too small, measure out twice. To make sure your bubble solution is thick enough to prevent bubbles from early popping, add four tablespoons of sugar. Mix well to let it dissolve. Add glycerin for the extra thickness. Pour in four ounces. Wow! We've managed to blow actual giant bubbles! We should make a giant bubble wand. We'll need knitting yarn, drinking straws, and wooden skewers. Thread the yarn through the straw, then through the other one. We've got a square loop. Tie a knot. Cut off the excess. Hot glue the wooden skewers in the straw. Repeat for the other side. Ready? Let's blow giant bubbles! 
and be sure to subscribe, hit the like button and click the bell. We're working on a new video right now.